So we're going to have a look at the H5P interactive video content type. I've got a link to a YouTube movie which I could use here, produced by the Lonely Planet. Uh, I've also got a local copy because sometimes we may want to use uh, an uploaded video rather than a YouTube video or online video. And I've also got and um, prepared a sort of poster image. Now the poster image is something that we're able to add to the beginning of this content type. And if we look at this, uh, it's just a high resolution, attractive photograph of Auckland City uh, at, at sunset. So if we look at uh, an actual H5P interactive video with that applied, we'll be able to see that, that when it starts, we've got some information at the top. The video is started in a paused mode, which is an option that we have and we've got some information there about the activity itself. So let's look at how we would set this up. Uh, I'm using Moodle here, so I'm within a course. I'm going to switch the editing on, and then I'm going to head to the Add a New Activity and scroll down to the Interactive Content Type, which is how H5P will appear with this plugin. Um, I've started putting together some information into the Auckland City Guide and the type of content is going to be an interactive video. So I'm going to select that. So uh, first you may see this um, helpful guide pop up. You can, I'd certainly encourage you to work through that. Uh, it's really useful. Uh, for now I'm going to skip past that. And the first thing I'm going to do is add a sort of title and some information regarding what this object is going to be about. So I've got three steps with an interactive video. Uh, upload or choose a video, add the interactions, and then add a summary. So we're at stage one at the moment. I'm going to click on add a video, and I've got a choice between adding a link to a video or, or, or uploading a video. Um, in this case, I'm going to upload a video because I've got a copy saved here. And then we'll see that uploading. Um, this is about a six or seven meg megabyte file, so it shouldn't take too long. We can see the percentage there, though. That's, that's um, fairly helpful. If you've got a really big video, at least you'll you'll see what the delay is. Um, and I want to really add some information about the quality of that movie and perhaps the file type, because I can add various versions. So I can add another version here, which is much more lightweight and might be might be better for mobile devices. I can also add different types, uh, different formats of, of movies, which is really useful. So I want to attribute this correctly. So I'm going to put in um, an idea of, of what the video is called, the copyright holder. In this case, it is the uh, Lonely Planet. And um, I, if I've got a link to that, original site or their site that's always good to put in there uh, we want to use best practice in terms of, of copyright and giving a you know notice of, of where that's actually from and then we can go through some other settings uh, again more information about the actual content type itself that people will see as they progress through here we have an option to um, uh, to show that description rather. Um, we can add again more information, all, all good, anything that you can help the help the user understand what it is they're about to do and about to see. That uh, really helps. Excuse my typing. And um, then I want to add a poster image and a poster image in this particular content type and I've got something saved here. It's going to add uh, a nice image to the activity and again I can edit that image I can you know put the copyright information in if it's not an original image by me um, and then we would be ready to move on to step two which is to start adding the actual interactions to our movie. 